It's been a long, hard journey for Lucy. For a year she worked in Lebanon, a dream that quickly turned into a nightmare of abuse. Now, safely back home in Sierra Leone, she's warning other women not to go. As the first percent of the people that live in my country have their daily bread from their family members that work abroad. That is one of my dreams. I want to work abroad, I want to work abroad. But I found out that there is a difference of working in the Middle East and working in some of the other countries. Please help me. <laughs> Domestic maids are largely at the mercy of their employers. And human rights groups say Lebanon's economic collapse and COVID-19 has made a bad situation even worse. This scene is a snapshot of what's happening right across the Middle East. Last summer, women were being dumped outside their embassies in Beirut because families said they couldn't afford the wages. The Lebanese government wouldn't tell us whether anyone had been prosecuted for ditching their worker. I'm heading to a safe house to meet a group of domestic maids. In Lebanon, those that run away from a risk becoming illegal because their visa is tied to the family they work for. And that's why they hide. I wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning, then I finish work at 11. If I said today for them to give me my salary, they lock me from the bathroom. Why are you humiliating us? Are you humiliating me? Why did you run away from your employer? Because my employer treats me like a slave. I said, how I can work without no salary? They told me there is no dollar, no money in Lebanon. I want to go back home to my country for me to go and take care of my son. Did he abuse you? He slapped me, hit me. Mm. I just want to say that to the Lebanese people that let them stop to treat us like this, like beasts like dog, because they value dog cats more than us. All the women we spoke to have now been repatriated, but many others are still waiting. A quarter of a million foreign domestic maids work in Lebanon's cities and towns, cooking and cleaning, mostly unseen, in homes across the country. Many in Lebanon see nothing wrong with the system that provides cheap labor. The situation is not that bad at all. Of course, there is some Lebanese families not good. Of course, everywhere there's people like that. Well, I spoke to the, one domestic the, maid who said she wasn't even allowed to sleep in her room. These cases, very few, most of them, the majority, are happy with their families in Lebanon. But the Lebanese government knows there's a problem.